In this video tutorial, we're going to go through how to install ATAC and set up its uh, TAC server connection. So we're going to go ahead and find the install file. I'm opening up File Explorer, going over to my download folder, that's where I have it, with ATAC 3.6. Clicking on the APK file, I'm going to go ahead and install. Now on some Android devices, if you do not allow installs of unknown sources, you may have to open up your settings and allow for unknown sources. It should give you an option to do that automatically. So now the install is going. It takes a minute or so to complete. So now we can go ahead and open up ATAC. So just hit open and you'll see ATAC launch in landscape mode. So now we'll see the uh, the end user license agreement, we're just going to hit agree. It may take a minute for that to actually allow you to press the button. So I hit agree, and now it's going to ask me would I like to set up my call sign or related settings. I'm going to say yes. So underneath here, I can select call sign. It'll give me a uh, call sign by default. We're going to remove that, put ourselves into caps mode. And the way the call signs work is a three letter designation for your major group that you belong to. So I'm at a DHS S and T. So this is going to be DHS dash, which subgroup you belong to, which it's S and T on my end dash. And the last bit is going to be either your team name. If you're sharing one device for multiple people or your last name, if it's your own device. So in my case, it's my own. So I'm just going to do last name. Hit OK and that will change my call sign. Now we're also going to set up team. So team is going to be a color which is based on the type of work that you're performing during the response. I'm a non-operational headquarter unit which is white but I'll also bring up a, a screenshot of a file that shows you what the uh, call sign designations are as well as the team colors what they mean. That will come up now. So now you hit the back button a few times to get back to your home screen and you'll see if it's, a, it's asking if you want to do a mission package. We're going to skip this step for now. And then disabling battery optimization, we're just going to say OK. And ignore battery optimizations, we're going to say yes. So now we've got our ATAC screen launched. We're going to hit the three buttons on the top right, which will bring up the uh, additional tools. If you scroll down and you can see my finger moving with the white circle, we're going to hit the settings button. And there are any settings, we're going to hit Network Preferences. Then we're going to hit Network Connection Preferences. Now we're going to hit Manage Server Connections. So now we're going to go ahead and add in our TAC server connection. Hit the three buttons on the top right. You'll see the Add button. Press that. The streaming protocol is TCP. The host address is response. Dot com. Now you may get an autocorrect like I did. Just go ahead and uh, remove the space that it dropped in. And then scroll down and the port number for HarveyResponse.com is 1600. Our description that we can type in is Harvey Response. So type that in, scroll down, hit submit, and you'll see that as the uh, circle turns green, that means you're connected to the TAC server. So if you hit the back button a few times, you'll be back at your map and you'll see it start to populate with the folks who are online for the uh, Harvey Response TAC server. 